Good morning, everyone. Dr. Victoria Skirbo here speaking to you from the Seeds of Transformation Healing Center in Wareham, Massachusetts. Uh, today is Sunday, May 23rd, or Monday, May 24th, in Australia, New Zealand. I'm uh, standing here under the wisteria. I thought it's a nice view for you. And uh, this is the east, <laughs> and the sun is not up yet. Uh, but it's on its way. So today, uh, the moon spends most of the day, um, at least here on the East Coast. Um, uh, in Libra, it does shift into Scorpio at 11.01 p.m., uh, a little bit earlier, uh, west of us. So uh, <clears throat> the moon in Libra, again, highlights the need to relate in a healthy way. We do have a nice uh, trine to Venus, uh, but we do have a square to Mars. So there is some harmony, and yet we don't necessarily agree on the actions to take to move forward, perhaps. Those two aspects occur relatively early in the morning. Uh, another thing that occurs uh, early in the morning is um, today Saturn stations retrograde at 14 degrees of Aquarius. So wherever 14 degrees of Aquarius is in your chart, this is where Saturn is stopping and turning around. Now, whenever planets change direction, it is significant. Uh, Saturn especially, um, because Saturn is the structure of our consciousness. It's, in, it's with Saturn that we... Um, build um, our lives um, and limit our lives. We both build with Saturn and contain with Saturn. Saturn acts like a container, quite frankly, for the soul, a physical container for the soul. When Saturn goes retrograde, uh, we have an opportunity to review um, the structures of our lives uh, review our assumptions. Um, are they workable? And what is no longer workable? And how does that have to change? So um, that's some of the themes that come up. Of course, Saturn is in Aquarius now. And Aquarius is about, uh, you know, pretty much how we live with each other on planet Earth to a certain extent, right? So the question is, uh, is that a doable thing? Do we have a choice? <laughs> and if in fact we don't have a choice, which I, I mean, we all have to live here, right? Uh, what structures need to be uh, reworked in order to make that happen? What infrastructures <laughs> have to be reworked? And those infrastructures have to be more fair. That's one of the things that this whole Saturn-Jupiter 20-year uh, cycle that started with that conjunction uh, at the end of last year, December 22nd, I believe, 2020. Um, that set the that set the the sort of standard for the next 20 years. The question is, what is it that you need to do to uh, even things out, raise some boats, bring down some. Uh, People that are too high or too rich or just too, 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 right? Or as institutions, not even just people. I mean, it's not just people. It's, uh, it's institutions as well. So that's what's going on today. Um, the last aspect before the moon shifts in Scorpio of the Libra moon is a square from Pluto. Uh, that's a fine <laughs> chow, sayonara, <laughs> for, the, for the generally well-balanced uh, or certainly seeking balance moon in Libra. Um, the square is a last quarter crisis in consciousness square with Pluto in Capricorn and the moon in Libra. And so there is that rebellious quality to it. And even within our own relationships with other people, um, 
especially intimate relationships, maybe a marriage or legal relationships, business relationships. Um, this can be a point of, you know, deciding uh, what needs to change. And uh, if it can change, uh, what do you do? What's the next step? And if it can't change, what's the next step? Um, and kind of in a way, um, we can see this, I think, in the Palestinian-Israeli crisis. Um, how many years of relating in this way and where has it, what has it wrought and what has it brought? What has it brought to the Israelis? What has it brought to the Palestinians? Um, that's sort of a, a larger, uh, a larger question being brought up by that situation and having that situation come into our consciousness at this time. So how must we do it differently, folks? All right, guys, I guess I will end you on the peonies. What's that? Lovely. Lovely. My other peonies are not yet open, so these are the ones that we're going to say goodbye on. All right, guys, take care. Much love. Have a great uh, rest of your weekend or have a great week. Oh, yeah, about the week. Uh, yeah, we're it's starting, guys going to be a humdinger. I'll get to that later today and uh, share it with you. Have yourself a great day. Like and subscribe. Much love.